Hi, I'm Dan and welcome back to another review by Heliguy. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at, yes, you've guessed it, the DJI Rubbermaster S1. So the Rubbermaster is one of DJI's latest products and was inspired by the annual Rubbermaster competition which allows users to build their own robots and fight them in an arena. The S1 provides users with an in-depth understanding of science, maths and physics and computer programming through a captivating gameplay modes and intelligent features. These are all built into the Robomaster S1 and can be customised very heavily in the app. The Robomaster was mainly designed for educational and also programming capabilities, however it's also a fantastic gift for those enthusiastic about robotics and building stuff. So when you first get the Robomaster S1, it is in pieces. You do actually need to build the robot before you can actually use it. And this process took me about two hours, two hours and a half, and it was really easy to do and really easy to make following the instructions. Hello Guy have also made their own instructions, which is in the link in the description below, and you can follow that to read an in-depth manual on how to build the Robomaster. It really is interesting when you're building it to see how each bit of the robot interfaces with each other and also how the components work together. So after building the robot, then it was time to take it out for a spin. Now, we were using the Windows app for all of our review testing. However, we also have tested it on iOS and Android, and it works absolutely fine. Now, when we actually launched the app, the Rivermaster has three different modes. These are Solo, Battle, and Lab. We mainly use the Solo one for this review. However, we'll be producing videos on the other two modes later on as well. But just to give you a quick overview, the battle mode allows you to control a Robomaster in a battle scenario with another Robomaster S1. This allows you to compete with your friends between multiple Robomasters. It also allows you to do time trials and other advanced features with the included vision markers. The lab mode allows you to explore in far more depth how to use the Robomaster with code, with Scratch and Python built into the actual app. We will be going over this in a different video with another member of our team to showcase what Python and Scratch can be used for with the Robomaster S1. But now let's take a look at solo mode and how to actually control the Robomaster. The solo mode works really well, allowing you to control the Robomaster easily with the controller on your screen of your phone or on a laptop. You can also control the Robomasters via an external controller that can be connected to iOS or Android. So one of the main features of this robot is that it can actually track sideways and it can do this by specially designed wheels and software in the robot that allows it to control where the power is distributed. On the top, the robot also features a turret that can be used for firing lasers or gel beads, depending on which setting you have it set up with. If you want to activate the gel beads, you have to do this in the settings and take off the safety if you want to go more than 10 degrees up. When you do switch into gel beads, it will ask you to confirm that you know the safety risks of this, and it will only allow you to pitch up to 10 degrees. If you want to turn this off, you can by unlocking the safety lock. However, for first time users, I'd recommend leaving this on. When using the gel beads, it's always recommended that you wear the provided safety goggles. The gel beads are included in the box, however you can purchase them separately if you need to buy some more. To make them, all you need to do is put them in some water and leave them for a couple of hours to expand to their full size before using them in the gun. Another notable feature is that the Robomaster can change to any LED colour you've set it as in the actual menu settings. You can change it between red, green, blue and a few other colours as well. It also can attach to a router directly alone for greater control over a longer distance. This also means you can attach multiple Robomasters to one network and control them through the app. Over the past few days, I've really enjoyed using this robot, and it's absolutely fantastic for someone who's enthusiastic about robotics and building kit. It would also be a fantastic birthday or Christmas gift for someone interested in building robotics and producing their own sort of kit. If you do have any more questions about this product or want to get one, you can look in the links in the description below. And if you do have any questions, you can comment below as well. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video for more content like this, and we'll see you in the next one.